Well, the Finville winter is harsh to us, trolls are rampant, and food is running low, so I'm surprised we still find travelers who make it here. Welcome to Manavagir, stranger. What is your name? My name is Lif. I am a practiced herbalist and a village healer of Manavagir. I am also a proven warrior should Sigurd need me, although I prefer not to use that skill. How 
is the village doing? Panatha gear is trouble these days. Food supplies are dwindling, and there are more trolls and bards in the forest than there should be. Yet... Would you tell me about Sigrun? We all do our best to consult Sigrun these days. It is all she can do to keep her store running. I think it is good she has Kraka around now. Would you tell me about Sigrun? We all do our best to consult Sigrun. Tell me about Sigurd. It is good that we have Sigurd on our side. Without him, and also not as well provisioned, Sigurd is a very good cook. His skills in the kitchen are... What can you tell me about the big city? Our rival city. Most of the people in Monavagir do not like it, but I believe there are some good people there. Tell me of Voland the smith. Yes, he is that blacksmith fellow. A decent enough man. What do you know about her, Volop? She is the second most beautiful woman in Fonts of Tuna. She is very elegant, reminding me of a bird at times. But she does not talk much, and I think she should smile more. Surely you have met Heine. When I last saw him, he was still very small. But I have heard he takes after his father. He talks about rescuing princesses and slaying dragons, so I'm sure... Let us speak about Snorri. I hear he is a competent enough boy. I do not trust the man at his work. I would advise against gambling with him, as he would likely cheat. Do you know the wizard Orvandel? Orvandel is my respected colleague in the arts mystical. He used to be my teacher years ago. His lessons often run late, but he does know his skills. Do not underestimate him. He does more to keep Fornsic Tuna safe than you may realize. What do you think about the Jarl? We have an ongoing dispute with Ilfing. He believes that Manavagir is part of his protectorate, and we think not. Just because Fornsiktun is older than our town does not mean that they own the entire forest. What can I find in Yarnvidir? Yarnvidir is all around us, and a good thing too, because I could hardly brew my potions without a ready supply of herbs and meat. To be honest, I do not like to venture far from Manavagir, because these days trolls are everywhere. I am not like Sigurd, and do not think I could take down one of those monsters. Do you know the herb mugwort? Yes, I am familiar with mugwort. It is a common ingredient in potions. I do not have enough to sell you, but you should be able to find some in an open, rocky area. I believe northeast of Munavagir, there is a good spot. There was a thief in my room at night! Yes, I have heard of the Thieves' Lodge, but they have left me alone so far. That is probably because if any of them got hurt, they would need my help to cure them. I am not sure how to help you. They are likely in town somewhere, but perhaps they are so well hidden that human senses just cannot find them. I wish you good health. Stay in Monavagir as long as you like. It is better here than in the forest.
Welcome back, traveler. I was worried that a lone woman like yourself would not make it back. I do not intend to leave town before spring myself. Tell me about Munarvagir. Tis our fair village in the heart of Yansir. The weather may be foul, yet the people are friendly. What does Lif do? My friend Lif is our resident healer. He keeps Munarvagir hale from sickness and cures the wounds of those ill-fated to run into a forest troll. Thank you, Sigrun. You are kind as always. And I am afraid there are quite a lot of people running to forest trolls lately. I bid you. It was nice to speak with you. I hope you will stay in Minarvig. Yes, I am listening. When you have reached my age, you have less to worry about the world freezing and all that. Please tell me about yourself. Well, I might be the storekeeper. I might also be the mayor of this town. But I am actually not. I merely take care of Munavagir's library. And Munavagir is what you are standing in. <laughs> Does the cat belong to you? Oh, not at all. I belong to him. You know how cats are, after all. He's a horrendous master, too. That is what I call him. Horrendous. Cute thing, is it not? <laughs> Why is there a ghost in the library? Oh, that is just old Zanzibar. You can kick him if he bothers you. He just likes disturbing people, is all. Why is he there? Heavens, do not ask me. I think he just came with the place. What would an old library be without a good haunting, after all? Can you recommend me a book? So you want to be a hero, do you now? Well, I have just the book for you. But you will have to find it first, because a book earned is a book saved. I will give you this note with a clue, and if you can find the book, it is yours. There was a thief in my room at night! The Thieves' Lodge is at work again? How dreadful. I'm happy that nobody wants to steal my books. I can tell that all the books are still here, really. Good day to you. Oh, it is very much so. And I wish you the same. Oh, do not give up so soon. There is a book waiting for you. But you can puzzle it out. And everybody loves a book.
do not give up so soon. There was a
Welcome to our fair village, traveler. I am sure your stay here will be a pleasant one, even when the winter outside is harsh and dangerous. Please tell me about yourself. Well met, well met. My name is Regan, occasionally known as Regan the Magnificent. But please, just call me Regan, unless you really want to. And who do I have the honor of speaking to? I am a traveler from- And it is all too clear how that sentence ends. The look in your eye, that dazzling cape, the fact that you walked into Muna Vagir in the middle of this harsh winter. Why, you must be an adventurer. Do not deny it, it is written all over your face. That is good to see, and I wholeheartedly support it. Why, back when I was younger, I used to go on adventures myself. I even performed a quest or two. Is that not splendid? I should tell you that if you find any gemstones in your travels, I would be happy to buy them off you. They remind me of my own traveling days. Tell me about Munar Vigir. Why, tis the bustling village you are standing in. The town normally runs on a trade through the forest and via Lake Ganvik during the Fimble winter. This has proven somewhat difficult. You can find several stores near the town gate, the famous Skyfire Inn in the northeast, and we even have a library in the south of town. Have you been to Fornsigtuna? Yes, I am sure you have been to Fornsigtuna. I am none too fond of the place or its yarrow, so let us speak of something else. What can I find in Yarnvidir? It is a fascinating place, is it not? Yanvidir is one of the main reasons I came here. Did you know it holds the largest population of trolls in Midgard? It is said that Racevilk, the giant eagle, lives at the edge of Yanvidir. By flapping his wings, he causes storms and gales throughout all of the woods. The forest contains some interesting sights, from the freezing flowers to the runic circle. But it would be no fun if I told you about that. You should discover them on your own. So what questing did you do? Oh, I could talk about those all day. Why, did you know it was me who recovered the famous mirror with the leer from the mist of Niflheim? But you likely do not want to hear my tales. You want to star in tales of your own, do you not? So let me ask your assistance for something. You see, my father Reithmar was a rich man, owner of a magic chest that would produce gold and gemstone each day. But my brother Fafnir is a greedy one. Coming in the dark of night, he slew my poor father just to take the chest from him. A sad tale, is it not? I fought with him, but I am no match for Fafnir in battle, so I was forced to flee. Still, this is a foul deed that needs avenging. So here's your heroine's quest. Take my sword, which is called Gram, and defeat Fafnir to avenge my father. You can bring me the chest as proof. Are you interested? Of course you are. I can see it in your eyes. Of course, you shall have a great and fitting reward when you are done. Thank you so much for your help. So where do I find this Fafnir? Oh, I'm sure you can figure it out. You are a heroine after all. Consider it a challenge, indeed, a quest. There was a thief in my room at night. Yes, that is part of the hazards of adventuring. Any major city is bound to have thieves in it somewhere. If something was stolen from you, I would recommend just buying new things. Surely an adventurer like yourself could afford that. I wish you good health. Happy adventuring. Please, come back when you have more good stories to share. Impressive, is it not? We are saving the liquor for the end of winter, which will come sooner or later. Welcome back, traveler. I'm sure your stay here will be a pleasant one. Even I wish happy adventure.
Impressive, is it not? We are saving... Please do not touch that. The placement of items throughout the room is important for the fitting atmosphere. Please leave that alone. I'm saving it to hold a grand feast once the winter has finally passed. Welcome back. I wish happy advent. Although I am no match for our town librarian, I keep my bookcase well stocked. It gives me something to do during the thimble winter. Good day to you. I hope your travels keep you safe, but if not, I may be able to help you with a potion or two. How is the village? Monopa gear is trouble these days. Food supplies are dwindling. What about the town librarian? He is a bit of an odd fellow, always shouting at that poor cat of his, and at that ghost he insists on keeping at his library. I suppose he means well enough, but he has an odd way of showing it. Perhaps he just likes to complain about some things. Can we speak about Reagan? I am sure you are like old Reagan. He was an adventurer before he came to Manabagir, just like you. He also supplies me with the occasional gemstone I need for my alchemy. You cannot make a good healing potion without amethyst, you know. I would like- If you would like to buy an elixir. I wish- Stay in Manabagir. There are enough apples to fill a frost giant's hand. Welcome back, traveler. I was worried that a lone woman like yourself would not make it back. I do not intend to leave town before spring myself. Tell me about Munarvagir. Tis our fair village in the heart of Yarnvadir. The weather may be foul, yet the people are friendly. What can you say about Reagan? I do not speak to him often, but he is a great storyteller. I take it he has traveled far when he was younger, and mayhap has been a hero of sorts. He can frequently be found at the library. I'm surprised he has not read all the books yet. What about the town librarian? To be frank, he mostly sits around and smokes his pipe. But he is old enough to have earned his time to sit around and smoke. 
He is my foremost buyer of pipeweed. He has some interesting tales to tell if you are patient with him. And he keeps a cat and a spirit as his pets. For some reason, he names the cat Horrible or something like that. I would like to buy some of your wares. Just look around if you see something you like, and we can talk about the price. I bid you farewell. It was nice to speak with you. I hope you will stay in Minarvagir with me. Day to you. Oh, it is very much so. No, no, no. You go ahead and keep that. It is a gift because you are busy saving the world and all. <laughs> <laughs> 